Hello, my loves. Welcome back. I feel like it's been a minute, but maybe just a week and a half, maybe. But for me, it feels like forever. It feels so good to be able to sit here to shuffle for you and to see what spirit has in store when it comes to today's topic, which is exactly what is it you are manifesting. Not only are we talking about what you are manifesting, but I want to invite your spirit guides, your ancestors, the ascended masters, and the divine to sit and talk with me, to talk to you, to give additional guidance into what you need to hear, into allowing you guys to work together to help things to manifest and unfold even more easy and effortlessly. Then I also felt called to layer on to this reading with messages that you need to hear in general. So like you guys do in any other pick a card reading or any, any pick a card reading on my channel, you just wanna allow yourself to be drawn to the pile that resonates with you the most, the one that is really standing out to you. You don't wanna do it so much as far as visual, like, ooh, this crystal's pretty, or ooh, I like the way this one looks. Usually you wanna kinda sit with it because what you are visually pulled towards and what you are intuitively pulled towards sometimes are two different things. So I'm gonna give you a chance to check out the cards that are available and see what you are gravitating towards. And then of course, I'll meet you at your timestamps. Okay, my loves, so if you chose the Spirit Quartz Crystal, this is your reading from your guides. So a few cards jumped up while I was setting up for you, and it was the Nine of Swords, the Six of Cups, the Knight of Wands, and the Eight of Wands. And it's so interesting to me, and now the Three of Wands. So it's so interesting to me that the Chariot card isn't here because I'm really getting a lot of Chariot energy type vibes coming from this reading. And what I feel like you're manifesting in your life currently is it's interesting it almost feels like a sense of direction a sense of purpose but i for whatever reason well it makes sense with nine of swords here it feels big time to me like your shadow side is harboring i don't know if that's the right word but that's what's coming through it's very much like lingering and building and swirling and it's starting to impact and impede your journey. It's starting to impact and impede your progress or what you feel like your progress should look like. I, before I even turn, you know, the, the, the cards over for your Oracle deck, I really feel like before I'm even allowed to speak to you as far as you know, advice and the details of what is it you're manifesting, spirit is clearly feels like it's giving me a warning to give to you to turn this ship around a little bit. And sometimes in order for you to turn it around, in order for you to gain control again of your mind, of your heart, and of your intention, you kind of have to dock a little bit. And it's so interesting that the ship is what's coming through because I'm getting all of these visions, like what the, the visions that I'm seeing for you specifically is a really powerful ship that is has so much potential, has all of the world to see and all of the world to explore and all of these things to see and do and to manifest and to strive for. And there is a one storm or two storms or three storms, but major storms, whatever it was, that even though it was built to withstand it, the captain of the ship is a little spooked and feels like they are not ready to get back out into the water. So, or while they're out in the water, while they're race, you know, moving through the waters, they're almost doing it in a way that is careless, like they're speeding to their direction or trying to speed to the end result. And Spirit is saying, listen, it's so important for you to, you know, dock. It's so important for you to be still for a second and to not just assess the damage because I feel like you've already done that. You've already seen what has happened. You've already done a lot of work to repair what has already occurred in your life. But gather yourself, gain, regain your strength, regain your clarity, and reconnect back to your North Star. Use your tools and your resources. And what does that mean? Well, people who you know, captains of their boats, they have a lot of resources. They have a compass, they have, 
you know, communicated devices that they can use to communicate with other ships or other places in order to, you know, check the surroundings and check in with other people. They have weather reports. And those are things that Spirit is really saying, listen, reconnect back into those tools, those assets. Um, for example, your compass is your intuitive feelings that you can pull into through your meditation. Your map is your astrology chart. You know what I mean? Your resources that you can communicate with in order to check in with other ships is your community, your social media, your friends, your family, so or a guru, so or a life coach. There's so many different things that you can tap into, but I don't know if you're necessarily doing that. And what I do see you doing is revisiting and replugging into the trauma replugging into the disappointment, replugging into what didn't work, how this fell apart. Listen, the storms that you went through and the storms that your ship had to weather were significant and they might have impacted, you know, you in a way that is crippling or kind of you know, made your made you need to made you have, feel like you need to recalibrate, so to speak. But that doesn't mean that you know the future ahead of you is going to invoke or invite in another storm. What it is that I'm seeing is if you think about a ship, they are moving from one spot, one territory to another, and that means that you could really be moving from one climate to another climate one culture to another culture, one land to a new land. So what does this mean? This means that wherever it is that you have left, you can't expect it where you're going because you literally are leaving it. So let's say if you're moving from Iceland to the islands in the Caribbean and there were storms that you had to go through, well, of course, because that climate of the area that you were at in the middle of the ocean was conflicting energies it was the conflicting energy of the cold and the warmth of the south and or the equator and yes there were going to be storms there that's what is expected in that season of that ocean in that season of your life but once you navigate through that you just need to pause and recalibrate because moving forward you will have a lot of you know well we'll see what's coming forward yeah three of wands is here and it says we want you to look towards the future again with hope. We want you to get excited again. We want you to be encouraged. We want you to see what is not only out there, but what is right on the brink for you. And it's almost as if you were rushing and racing into it. Wow. It's almost as if you were rushing and racing into it because you're not running to it, but you're running away from something. And Spirit is saying, listen, what you saw and what you've experienced, do not expect it to repeat because it's not that you're attracting it, you're just wearing yourself down. Now, my loves, as I was saying that, Four of Swords jumped out and the Star card. These two cards together are big time healers. They want you to be healed, but also I'm hearing that you are seen in your healing process. You are you are seen in your rest. You are seen in your recuperation um, and recalibration. With the Six of Cups here, it's really giving me Mercury retrograde vibes. Now, at the time of me filming this, Mercury just recently went direct. Um, and I don't know what when it is that you, Spirit, has called you to listen to this um, message because it is timeless, but it still is giving me Mercury retrograde vibes. And what is Mercury retrograde? Mercury retrograde is the time in the cosmos, the time within the astrology chart, the divine timing. Oh my God, I can't wait to pull these oracle cards for you guys. Um, but Mercury retrograde is the time where you are encouraged to rest, to recalibrate, to recalibrate, to reconnect, to reconsider. And I don't know if it's necessarily this, that this pile, those that chose the spirit courts, that you are off your target or you're off your path. You may feel like you are again, because you're on the water. You know what I mean? Like you just were going through the storm. So you might have, you know, you might feel a little seasick. You might feel a little motion sick. You might feel a little dizzy. But that's even more reason for you to pause really quickly 
and to look for that north star again look for that compass and recalibrate yourself so that you aren't just running and racing in any any different direction and spirit is really trying to and then if you guys need extra encouragement you have the queen of wands here and she is very independent she is very gifted she is very um, blessed. She is very abundant. She is very generous. She has a lot of energy and a lot of ideas. So spirit still sees those things within you. There's this word that's coming through of potential. Some of you guys know that you have a really strong potential within yourself, but more than that, it's the potential of these new lands. Wow. That you are being called, um, into exploring and visiting. Now, I have to stop, you know, and just show you guys what just came through. I'm talking about recalibrating, reconnecting, and coming back to yourself, plugging into spirit, and then, you know, then laying out the map once the world stops spinning a little bit, laying out the map and being like, okay, we are going to revisit this game plan that it was that you originally saw. What, it, what, what was it? that originally put you on the map? What made you think, okay, I'm gonna leave my safety, safety. I'm gonna leave my security, my comfort zone in order to explore the seas? Was it a new relationship? Was it education? Was it a new house, a new location? Like, what, what, what was it? It's really about revisiting that original plan. That's what it is that you guys are manifesting now. Five of Wands is here, lots of energy. It's about regaining your strength, regaining, and you guys also have the Strength card here reversed, but it's reversed, right? It's the reason why it's reversed is because you're just a little woozy, you're just a little beat up, you're just a little discombobulated, but that's an easy, quick fix. Seven of Pentacles is here. Seven of Pentacles, for those of you guys don't, that don't know, or if you want to study the tarot a little deeper, or well, a whole lot deeper with me, you can always join the Sacred Circle Tarot School, but Seven of Pentacles is about looking at every point within the journey and assessing, okay, what needs to be repaired? What do I need to add to? What do I need to take away from? Who is coming with me? Who did we lose? Who can we regain? What do we need to reconnect with? What do we need to rekindle? What are our resources? It's going back to the game plan and, and switching it up so that it's more efficient, it's more solid, it's more fruitful, it's more prosperous for you. And like I was saying, you guys, the ship, the ship wants to get back out into the ocean. It wants to get back out there again. It wants to explore and it will. Six of Swords is all about moving from one territory to the next territory. So you are moving into quote unquote the promised land. But the Magician card is here reversed. This means that your original intention, your original, why is it not focusing? That's a message all by itself. Spirit is trying to guide you back into refocusing to your original intention. Some of you guys had vision boards. Some of you guys had journal entries. Some of you guys had, um, you know, intentions that you've written down or whatever, or things that you have encoded or encrypted somewhere in your life and you have to see it again. You just have to see it again to remind you, oh, this is why I did it. This is why I wanted to get started. And it's gonna spark inspiration in you once again. Again, it's very Mercury retrograde. It's going back to the original plan. I am also seeing, wow, this just came through. Some of you guys, it's not that it was a storm. It was like an, a judgment card moment where for whatever reason, Spirit saw that you were speeding through and moving really, really quickly in your life in one direction. And Spirit was like, you know, this person is really, really strong with their intention, with their manifest manifesting, with their willpower. But if we allow her or him to continue on, they're not going to be happy ultimately with this end direction that it is that they're headed towards, but their willpower is definitely gonna get them there. So we are going to put into your life certain things that kind of make you be like, whoa. It's almost like, it really, it gives me like dizzy vibes because you just kind of spin in a new direction and you're like, oh my God, I'm going in this way now. And when you do that, when you see that, when you experience it, it really, has you recalibrate it really has you say to yourself wow like I'm very grateful that I'm seeing this now because if I would have continued I would have invested a lot of my money a lot of my time a lot of my energy into 
building something that would have been great, but it wouldn't necessarily have been a whole fit for me. Does that make sense? You guys, let me know down in the comments because this is a really, I'm actually getting a little lightheaded and woozy with this group. Wow, three of cups. It's like spirit, I almost feel like this is not necessarily for you guys, but it's like spirit is celebrating and encouraging. Like, yes, girl, it makes sense. Like, yes, 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 they are with you. So that's, I feel like that card was definitely for me, even though I wasn't really second guessing it, but I just feel like that card was for me. Um, but I am also seeing this is so on point. This card just dropped out and jumped. Ooh, uh, yeah, three of wands. It's something that had already been set into motion, something that you already saw for yourself, something that you wanted for yourself that is on the horizon. I just feel like it would have been not the best if you would have, especially with five of swords here reversed, yeah. It would have been not the best if you would have carried on and continued. Again, it's not that you couldn't do it. That's the thing. You would have done it. Like, you would have been there. You would have continued on with wherever it was that you were going. If it wasn't for that storm or if it wasn't for this vision or if it wasn't for this awakening moment, it's almost like you're signed up for classes, you know, if you're in college and you are... A psychology major and then you realize it's not psychology that you want after like you do like an internship you want to be a social worker so it's like you're there but you have to reroute you have to reassess or if you you know were a teacher you you're you know you're, you signed up or you're enrolled like your major is in education but as you are learning about how to be a teacher um, you start realizing, you know, it's not that I want to be a teacher, I want to write. I want to, you know, I don't want to work with students so much as I want to write about what it is that I love in a book and publish a book. So, the cards that you have here are trust, right? So, this is really about trusting the weight, trusting the recalibration process. Then we have forgiveness. So, this is a space to me, this feels like, again, there might be people or things within within yourself or within your surroundings that you might need to be a little easier on. Again, the storm or the rerouting process, the journey was really set in place to redirect you in a new direction, if that makes any sense. So if spirit or the divine put people and places into your life in order to recalibrate you so that you don't end in, up in the wrong direction realize that they were just pawns that spirit moved used to move to help move you so it kind of helps with the forgiveness process because sometimes people will, or situations would have acted out of character or in ways that you know might have been hurtful or shocking to you or sh even shocking to them but again, when spirit is moving and when intention is moving and you, you know, the universe, everything is working in, in together and to alignment or to make sure that you are at your highest and greatest, you know, some weird things can really happen. So have this space of healing for that and understanding that you may not necessarily understand. Well, actually, that is what I feel is going to help you to understand it's that don't take anything personal just realize that there are certain people in certain circumstances that were literally set in place in order to get you on the right track the next card companionship some of you guys are a lot of you guys i feel are you know i feel like especially with the three of cups here and the three of wands you're not you're really not meant to Go the rest of the journey alone you're meant to have people around you a tribe a community or your person people who truly understand you people who want to understand you people who may not necessarily agree with everything that is that you're doing but they still support you they still encourage you and they still love you unconditionally and you're giving that to them so i definitely see and feel that for you guys especially with three of cups three of wands that is really this the number three i teach this in the sacred circle tarot school but it's the energy of trinity it's the things coming together and harmonizing together in order to create and manifest something brilliant and beautiful um, and in order for that to happen all of those elements no matter how different they are they work really well hand in hand so that's what it is i'm seeing for you look 
self-love. So this is in that recalibration process, you are learning how to find your strength again. Again, your strength card was reversed. And really what that means is that out of your own fear, out of your own insecurity, out of your own anxiousness, out of your own will, you may have been seeing these big blockages and just doing everything in your power to push through it, to power through it. And self-love would tell you that what is for you will not pass you, will not miss you. And all you have to do is be you in order for you to receive your greatest blessing. So that's something that came through. You have here, follow the leader, which was reversed, and one ring circus. This is showing me right away that again, you are the captain of your ship. You are the master of your destiny. You are the one who gets to call the shots. You are the one who has the power to pull the compass. You are the one who has the ability to sit within your meditation and find new direction and grounding. And it's not gonna be so much you leaning on other people. You will have a support team around you for sure, but it's going to be you calling the shots. It's going to be you doing um, you know, directing your life. Where are we going? Everyone's looking to you. What is the answer? Let me know down below in the comments. Next card. Oh my God, you guys. Potential. I literally said that earlier. Potential. It's not only the potential within you because you know the potential within yourself. It's the potential of the circumstances. It's what you know it could be. Look, independence independence but this is reversed this is about coming back into your own power knowing what you're worth knowing what you can do and then doing it and doing it for you then we have iris the card of communication this is so powerful because some of you guys again you need to remember that after the storm there's always a rainbow if it wasn't for the storm there wouldn't be the rainbow and spirit is trying to speak that to you now for you to listen to them for you to hear that and for you to look for that now what needs to be he healed music again this is things that are helping to nourish and support your energy and miracles i love that those two ends music and miracles so there are certain songs especially with three of cups that you're going to hear that you're going to cross paths with that is really going to resonate and speak volumes in your life and into your spirit there's nothing like a song that says it all and the way that the person sings it in order to get that message across and i really feel like you're going to be using that look karma is on your side Earlier disappointments were just rehearsal for the great stuff coming your way. We were literally talking about that. And there isn't a soul on the planet who doesn't crave your approval. Again, everyone is looking to, to you in order for you to, you know, manifest this miracle and get this direction going. Then we have you are lovable and financial healing. So any issues that you're worried about and barriers to your success and abundance and your blessings are going to be provided for, especially when it comes to abundance. I hope this message makes sense, you guys. Let me know down in the comments. Make sure you are subscribed to my YouTube channel because there's plenty more videos where this came from. And my Astro Guide to 2021 is up and available. It was number one on new releases. Ha, ha, ha. Love that. And I will link that down below if you need astrology guidance to help you throughout the rest of 2021. I'll see you in my next video. Bye. All right, my loves. For those of you guys that chose the conch shell, this is your reading. For those of you guys that don't know, the conch is very symbolic of feminine energy. So that's something that could really be stepping forward to speak to you now. Also, something that's coming through for me, I'm gonna put this here for you so that you guys can see what it is that I'm looking at. Something that's coming through for me is the idea of secrets. Why secrets? Oh, look at that. That just jumped forward. I feel, we're just going to dive right into your reading. I feel as though not everybody needs to know and hear exactly what it is that you are doing. Some things need to be kept off the radar, especially as they are building up energy, especially as they are growing, especially as they are budding. I am really feeling from this shell already that there are certain things that people should not have access to. Um, like I was saying in the very you know, just a second ago, you know, not everybody needs to know exactly what that you're doing, but not everybody should be seeing it. And you also don't need to be absorbing other people's energy and advice and input into what you should be channeling for yourself. This is very, I don't want to say independent, 
it feels very dependent on spirit. It feels disconnecting from the outside world, what everybody else is doing, the advice that they can give, and doing your own internal research. So just like pile number one, I feel very called to, I don't wanna say give a warning, but this is what spirit is saying. Look, page of wands is here, and the page of wands is that new exciting venture, but it also is telling me to tell you to protect your energy. Protect your, your energy is a resource, so you protect your resources. Next card is Seven of Cups. Something about that feels like, it, it feels like protection. It feels like having, it almost feels like the universe or spirit sets some things into your life around you to confuse people so that they're not looking directly or you are getting confused and you are not looking directly at what it is that you should be seeing. And as I'm saying that, we have Page of Swords reversed. Page of Swords is very curious. It's very much a card of asking questions and hearing what people are saying and hearing also what they're not saying. Also, the death card here is reversed. Five of Pentacles is here reversed. What you, okay, before I can even talk about what is it you're manifesting, Spirit is saying that there's something that you're resisting, changing, or letting go of, or that you're afraid to let go of, or there's a space of lack that you're afraid to surrender and let go of, and it's because you're trying to make it work, or make it fit, or make it grow, or what, you're just trying to, you know, do something unnatural. It feels very unnatural. If your energy or if the truth is telling you one thing, you're lying to yourself and you're lying to other people and you're lying to the universe. Um, it's not, you know, how it's making you feel and how it resonates with you. It's not a match. That's something that's coming through. And with that, spirit is getting cloudy because you're, no offense, but there's this question of your integrity. Integrity is what you say, what you do, doesn't match, like it matches your intention and how it feels. You know what I mean? So all those things are in alignment. They're working. Right now it feels like <clears throat> you're almost fearful of this change that's happening within your life or this change that's happening around you or this change that's happening within your relationships or the changes that are in your circumstances and you're afraid of this adjustment. You're afraid of these challenges that you're almost now yeah wow okay you're almost allowing certain things to continue to be in your space or to en you're engaging in certain things that are still staying in your space or you're still doing certain things that are do not aligned with you know what you see and feel for yourself nine of pentacles is the reminder that spirit wants you to be self-sufficient they want you to be not relying on other people to, how come this is not focusing? I don't know, it's not focusing, but Nine of Pentacles. Um, Spirit is reminding you that, and like even as I'm looking at this, she's hidden, she's trying to hide herself in this well. So it's showing me that there's more beneath the surface. There's a lot beneath the surface. Nine of Cups. I've got like all these contrasting messages coming through for this for this pile. In fact, I feel like I really need to slow down. Even with the Ace of Wands, I feel like it's number one, it's reversed, but I feel like it's someone taking a light and putting it under the water. Like they're trying to hide it. They're trying to push it under, but it's gonna pop up. <laughs> Seven of Swords is literally the card of hiding. It's things not being said things even and as I'm looking at it I'm seeing the ice breaking apart so it's like these little fragments of things that you know and with the ice the icebergs so you like there's it's just the tip of the iceberg and there's so much more underneath that and then there's little bits that break up and then show and you're just like wait a minute why am I so uncomfortable with seeing this or why are they so uncomfortable with showing this to me or there's more to this than meets the eye and I can feel that why am I not allowing myself 
to listen to that and honor that. This is really interesting because the question of today's video is what exactly is that you're manifesting? And this is the first message that spirit wants to speak to you. I don't feel like this is frustrated, a frustrated angel guide. I feel like it's a call to action, especially with nine of pentacles here. It's you don't only want to like see it and observe it. You want to make a note of it. You want to take it seriously because it's there to be a blessing. It's there to help you to invest and move smarter, wiser, and you know, longer, you know what I mean? Like really have longevity. I want to talk about this five of pentacles reverse. There's something here that it's like you're working with someone. Wow. It's like you're working with someone or something that doesn't, you know, it's like you're feeding it, you're nurturing it, you're trying to teach it. And I feel like spirit is saying, if you feel really called to put invest energy into nurturing someone to doing something that they should be doing by themselves, then that's you have to realize that that's where it is that you're investing your energy in. But just like I really want to tell you guys this, just like with students, right? There's a lot of things out in the world. Like when a student is in school and they're learning, they're taking that knowledge and they will apply it and invest that knowledge in the area that they find is worth their investment. That could be back into that school or it could be other schools that are out there. So if you are investing your energy into teaching someone or training someone or showing someone how to be a good person or how to be a good friend or how to be a good business partner or a good relation like a good husband or boyfriend or girlfriend they are going to take those lessons there's a, a concern here that says they might take those lessons especially with the nine of pentacles nine of pentacles is not a negative card it's not a bad card if you're in my sacred circle tarot school you hear me talk about this all the time that there's no such thing as a good or bad card. It just is what it is. Nine of Pentacles is a perfect example of that where a lot of people see the Nine of Pentacles as this like positive, awesome, amazing card. But to be honest with you, I see it as someone just collecting into their well and getting a sense of satisfaction there. And and it's I, I'm, I'm hearing the word like escape. Like they take what they have learned and take what they're growing. <laughs> Full card take what they are learning and growing from and they apply it in the way that best serves them. So I don't know if this is a message for you directly where you are guided to learn from your current circumstance and then take it and run or if there's something or someone that you are teaching and that you are investing your energy and effort into that it's spirit is, I don't want to say warning you, but it's like, be aware, at least be aware that way to be informed is to, you know, be in a position of power. Knowledge is power. So that's what spirit is coming through and saying, if you need to debt it, then 10 of swords, 10 of swords is here. Some of you guys, it's literally like, take the lessons for this moment, take the lessons that you're gaining from this. And then when it's done, it's done. The star card says, look you have a star card here reversed. This is a person, again, this kind of bothers me to get to, to, you know, to talk to you guys about this, but we're here for a reason. The star card reversed and the five of pentacles reversed and the page of swords and the death card reversed, all these cards are showing me that it's almost like a person who has been kind of losing faith, losing hope, feeling like they've lost their direction, and they might be staying in a situation that feels stable because they know what to expect, but spirit is almost saying, listen, seven of cups is here and there's more, more to this that you might not be allowing yourself to see. So there's that message. So interesting that the conk, the first thing that started coming into my mind was secrets and quiet and the unknown. This card, this pile may actually be 
a call to some of you guys to actually set intention. You might have been neglecting your magic, magical process, your magical powers, and just waiting for someone else. Nine of Swords. A lot of Nine of Swords energy is coming up lately. A lot of it. It's not even so much, it kind of reminds me of pile number one, where it's not so much what is currently happening in the present moment, it's what has already happened that is messing you up now. It's like this energy of, you know, 2020 was a doozy, 2019 was crazy, and 2021, it almost feels like things may have settled down, but you don't even trust the fact that it's settled. You're like waiting for the next thing to happen. Yeah, 10 of swords, <laughs> upright, star card so this is a reminder that the worst truly is behind you it's been put to rest it's been laid to rest but you're still here you're still standing king of pentacles four of swords nine of pentacles and ten of wands this is about again i'm seeing okay what is it i need to go back because spirit is taking me in a whole bunch of different directions what are you manifesting like what is it balance temperance harmony moving back into alignment with spirit and the, the cosmos and yourself and your relationships and your career king of cups emotional fulfillment deep emotional fulfillment leadership feeling like you have direction Wow, feeling like you have direction and power again. That's what you are manifesting. You really need to feel that. We have the Emperor card here. We have the Ten of Cups. We have the High Priestess. That is what you guys are setting intention for. I, I legit have chills. I don't know if you guys can see that. You guys are manifesting this feeling. And from that, you can do everything. But you just need to feel it again. So what you are manifesting. And it's not, you can't, oh my goodness. Spirit is saying, you can't. This needs to come from within you. Like, no matter what you manifest, a relationship, a career, a trip, a, you know, a baby, a building, <laughs> it's all of those things, what are, yes, you can manifest them, but what you really want and what you really, what spirit really wants to see you manifesting right now is a feeling of harm, harmonic I don't know if that's the right word, but alignment with the planets, with the cosmos. You want to manifest the feeling of we are moving together. We are aligned. I my my steps really feel guided. My steps really feel protected. I feel empowered. I know my worth. I know my value. I feel so strong in myself. I feel so moved within my spirit. That's what you are manifesting. That is actually if you don't know this yet cuz sometimes we can kind of get distracted. 7 of cups. Remember you guys have the 7 of cups. But 10 of cups, your happily ever after is that feeling of oneness and unity not only with the circumstances and the environment around you but with the planets with the cosmos with the divine with your angels it feels like there's these gap these gaping wide open holes that uh, that make you feel vulnerable and make you feel weak and make you feel like something or someone can catch you off guard so you accidentally kind of sometimes plug that in with things people places situations events stuff that you think serves a purpose, but at the end of the day, it just makes you feel more vulnerable again. So that's what it is that you're manifesting. We have to look into your oracle cards. You have taken me on quite the journey. Okay, we have body. We have service. And I want to read this to you. You stop using the universe to try to get what you want and start asking love to use you. You offer all and want to be of service. Ironically, many desires become fulfilled without grasping or manipulation. So I love that because, and then we also have self-acceptance. So this is this feeling of really coming back again, all the bodies. When I see body, I don't see just physical body. I see mind, body, soul, spirit. So all of your bodies want to come back into alignment so that you feel like spirit is moving through you. And with the word service, it's not so much what you, you know, what you're being given. You know what I mean? It's that what you are doing, how you are moving, it is so aligned. It feels so aligned that it comes from a higher purpose. 
that's what it is that I see with the word service. Like you just step back into this space and self-acceptance is you really coming back into, again, this high priestess energy here. And don't even feel bad. Don't feel bad for this because the high priestess, I say this all the time in my Sacred Circle Tarot School, but the high priestess is really a card of power, but she is humbled in her power because her power comes from source. And you guys are really wanting to accept that again. Their, your energy, when it comes to the word integrity, was your first thing. Your integrity feels that there's a disconnect. And you want to connect first with the divine and through that, all things flow. All things manifest, all things grow, all things align. And that's what it is that you're manifesting, this really strong, powerful state of being. Then we have oh, storm fields, we have goblins, we have listening. So this is really, you guys, in, in the storm, in your energy, in the storm, in the world, you want to hear spirit again. That's what you're manifesting. You really want to hear because the goblins, the voices in, in your, you know, the chattering voices in your mind, the chattering voices of the world, the chattering voices of the distract, dis distracting things that have been taking your time and your attention have been bothering you. And you really want to plug back into source. You really want to listen and hear spirit's guidance. You really want to feel the divine's energy around you so that regardless of what is happening, regardless of the storms, regardless of the chaos of the world, you always feel plugged in. You always are manifesting. You are always strong in your power. We have generosity. Oh my gosh, I just saw the bottom card. Illusion. You have the seven of cups at the very start of this reading and generosity is connecting me to the nine of, nine of pentacles and the 10 of 10 of cups. The illusion is that there are certain things that you have, I said this in the very beginning of the reading, oh my God, I, I blow myself away all the time and spirit always blows me away. I too am the high priestess and I'm always humbled in my intuitive readings because it just all, it's crazy how it all connects, it all aligns. But in the very start of the reading, I was talking to you guys about seven of cups and seven of cups is the card of fantasy, fog, illusion, you know, too many options, it's overwhelming the senses. And literally, it's these goblin things that have been stepping forward and stealing your power by distracting you. And it's very small things that come forward that disrupt you and disrupt your path and disrupt your connection with the divine. And spirit is showing you that what you are manifesting is clear vision past the illusion. Illusion means you're not looking so far into the future and so far into the past because none of those things are present here. What is present here is you and I connecting now, you receiving this message, spirit filling your cup up, you realigning back into your soul's purpose. The, the, the present is this shell that is that I'm holding in my hand, this coffee that is that I'm drinking, these beautiful, juicy, ripe Florida strawberries that I'm gonna be biting into later, this crystal, this fire, this moment these are things that you can count on because they're here they are present and anything else this projection of what the future will look like or this what the, the past has looked like or what you should be doing it's not even that it's what are you doing here now presently that is where spirit wants to be generous with you that is where spirit wants to provide for you if you don't know the story of Roshun you definitely want to check her out and listen to her no matter what your cultural background is no matter what your ancestors and your legacy has looked like and has been look into her story because that her message will speak to you a lot it will move my whoa I'm done I'm done truth and integrity Am I the best? <laughs> Spiritual growth. I don't need to say anything more. I just don't. <laughs> wow, world energy. This is my sensitive tribe. These are my sensitive people. These are my empath, my gifted. The energy, the world of the energy has really got you. And spiritual growth, that's what you're manifesting right now. Mm -mm. Be positive. That's the thing too, I feel like that's a, po a blessing and a curse for this group that sometimes being positive has almost kind of hindered you because you're not allowing yourself to see. You're just like, everything is fine. Everything is not fine, my love. The truth is, is that everything is not fine. Everything is realigning, everything is chaotic, everything is weird, and that's okay. It's, you know, being positive doesn't mean that you just keep painting 
a picture of things that they're not, that's creating an illusion. So come back into the truth and the integrity of it and accept it. Be open, open your heart, love it. Open your heart to who? To spirit, to divine, to your ancestors, to your guides. Go back to your altar. You glow, we beam. Spirit is saying, come back, reconnect and forgive. I don't know why that message is coming through. <laughs> But that's really coming, that's, that's someone needs to hear that specifically because I feel like there's nothing more I should say to that. You glow, we beam, spirit wants to work with you and align with you. All right, you guys, so that's the message. I hope that it resonates. I hope that it makes sense. If you want to add on to this with astrological um, planning and predictions for the rest of 2021, my astro and intuitive guide for 2021 is available for you to download. It is an ebook format. It's over 200 pages or just under 200 pages. I'll link that down below. Until then, I invite you to subscribe to my YouTube channel because there's plenty more videos where this came from, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye. Okay, my loves. So, number one and number two were powerful readings. Number three typically ends up being a very powerful reading, usually, for those that choose it and those that pull from it. So, if you chose the copper bits, this is the message that you need to hear right now. So, for those of you guys that don't know, I just got a message for you guys. I love how quickly spirit moves. As soon as I open the door, they're like, hey, what's up? So we need to talk. I'm like, all right, yes, that's why we're here. Um, but for those of you guys that don't know, I'll start off by saying this. For those of you guys that don't know, and literally as I'm doing this, your guides are like this. Come on. Go ahead, Jess, take your time. But Okay, so very funny spirit guides right now. They're very, um, they're very forward. <laughs> And as I'm saying it, they're like, okay, come on, come on, come on. All right, all right, all right. Okay, so copper card. Um, the copper is about rece being receptive. And it takes the current energy and magnifies it. However, <laughs> your guys, as soon as I saw the copper, they're like, this, this person is weird. <laughs> and they don't say that in a way that's negative. They say it, yeah, but this person's different. This is a very different type of person to pull this car to pull this they're designed to be different they're meant to be different their path is different and that's not a threat that's not a bad thing spirit is saying embrace what makes you different embrace what makes you unique i just heard your guides being like yeah this girl's going places or this guy's going places so and those things connect they literally connect i'm seeing they, why do they connect? Because because you're so different, because how the world sees you or how, you know, people see you or how, whatever, whatever makes you different, whatever makes you unique is what is going to help project you and propel you into, you know, your blessings. So you don't want to spend too much time. I don't know why, but I'm getting, wow, um, I'm getting a hotel. Like, this is crazy, but this is the vision that's coming through. Every single hotel room looks exactly the same, right? Wow. Oh my God, wow, wow. Okay, Every, this is so crazy how metaphors come through. Every single hotel room, like if you're going on a trip, if you're going on a, on a vacation, you could stay in a hotel. Every single hotel room looks exactly the same. Maybe the difference is, is the view. You know what I mean? Like maybe some rooms are a little better because they overlook the ocean or they overlook a safari or they overlook a parking lot, you know? Um, but the, the value of it changes depending on what makes it different, what makes it stand out. However, there are a lot of people who pay a whole lot more for unique, the Airbnb. Why? Because it's a totally different experience. They will literally wait six months, five months, three months, two months, for that Airbnb to open up. Why? Because it's an experience. Why? Because you can't get that anywhere else. And I just heard Spirit say, do not water yourself down. I don't know why, but Spirit is, I think the reason why you're choosing this copper piece is because you are really guided right now to I don't want to say give the most of yourself, but unapologetically give all of yourself without compromising, watering down the essence, the core essence of what makes you unique. Then the justice card came up. 
The Justice card is about fairness. It's about weighing it all out and seeing the intention in order to decide, okay, this is what is right. This is what is just. This is what is fair. And Spirit says, I don't know why, but I feel like this really strong message of The cards are in your favor. Like, the, the cards are in your favor. The odds are in your favor. Hmm. All of that, and now they're quiet. It's like, they, meaning spirit guys, there's, now they're quiet. Why are they quiet? Because they're like, go a little deeper, Jess. And I'm just like, are you sure? And they're like, yes. Which is funny because Ace of Swords within my Mermaid Tarot is all about going to the root. I feel like I have to be quiet because I'm just listening right now, so forgive me, guys. It's this Ace of Swords that's really... And also, I really want to remind your guides that we originally, they're like, we know, we know. This is a very talkative group, too. They're very opinionated. Um, but I want to remind them that this is about what you're manifesting and what they can help. So, it's so weird to me. They, they with the Justice card, they're like, you don't, I don't know why this is what's coming through, but they're like, you don't want to manifest trouble. It's not what you are manifesting. They'll talk about that. But you don't want to manifest trouble. What does that mean? Then we have Eight of Cups, Seven of Cups, King of Swords, the Fool Reverse, Ten of Wands Reverse, and the Queen of Swords. So we have two swords here. Both of them, both of these partners are links. They're, they're meant to be together. They're meant to align together. But more than that, they're the, be the best of both worlds. They're the feminine intellect. They're the fem feminine logic. They're the masculine intellect and masculine logic. The two of them see something and are very guardy guarding and very protective of you. And they do not want you to manifest and materialize trouble. There are certain, it's this, certain things, right? Eight of cups, seven of cups, the full card reversed, and the ten of wands. There are certain things that spirit is kind of guiding you to halt, address this, deal with it, speak up on it, be clear on it, set clear defining boundaries and define it. Like that's a big thing, definition. I'm being called to kind of revisit this idea of being unique in this hotel, like the hotel room versus the Airbnb. So there's Rules, deeds, restrictions, things that are expected, things that you are going to be called to do, things that you're, people that you're going to be called to meet, that you're going to cross paths with, that you have to let them know that this is what is acceptable. You can do this there. In the hotel room, this is what you can do. This is what you can expect. This is the phone number to call for this. These are the rules. But in the Airbnb, this is my home. This is what I'm allowing you to experience. This is what I'm giving to you. And for that, there are a different set of rules because this is not your normal everyday experience. And Queen and King of Swords show that there are going to be people who most people are going to agree to that. And if not, there will be punishments. There will be a penalty. There will be, you know... So right now, and that's what I'm saying, okay, now it makes sense. Okay, this is why Spirit wanted me to be quiet. Because what they're saying is, when with this idea of don't manifest trouble, if you create the boundary and the rules now and the deeds of it now, it will literally steer you away from trouble. It will avoid trouble. It will avoid complications. It will avoid problems. There are going to be times where you're going to have to uncomfortably have a conversation with someone or have a conversation with, you know, 
what your expectations are, what you're looking for, what you're about, what you want. And people might look at that and be like, why are you, I'm, you know, we're, we're here to have fun. Like we're on vacation. Like we, it's like, that's all well and good. There's going to be a time and place for us to have fun, but there are rules and things that we need to check. And you also need to sign right here so that this is documented and recorded that we have this conversation. It's almost like with the wheel of fortune, it's like, some like people or, or someone or something comes in and says, yeah, we're here to have a good time. And it's like, skirt, before that happens, sign here, go through this terms and agreements, terms of terms of conditions. Your guys are very, very protective. Very, very protective. They're actually telling me, okay, that's it. <laughs> Um, this could be very much connected to an earth sign type energy because we had the king of pentacles here as well. So Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, or maybe you are. Yeah, it's something that you're, wow, mm, the magician card. It's something that you are, literally that's, actually now I think about it, the, the topic of this video was what are you manifesting? And the magician card I think pretty much showed up for every single card show up for every single pile the magician card is literally the card of mani manifesting setting intentions and it showed up for you as well so two of wands is really observing and looking for the problem before it becomes a problem and fixing the problem before it becomes a bigger issue and that's a big thing that spirit is guiding you towards right now i'm also feeling the words yo Queen of Swords again and Justice cards. So this is really about rules, regulations. It's not so much about, you know, the, the pretty emotional side of things, of what it is that you're manifesting. It's about the logical, tangible, practical evidence of things, getting it onto paper. So whatever it is that you are manifesting, because I feel like this pile can be stretched in different ways, but whatever it is that you're manifesting, you are really looking for something very unique and different from your normal, from a normal everyday experience. And Spirit is saying, put that onto paper and state it clearly because there's nothing wrong with that. And that's what we need in order to make it, you know, come forward faster. Now, let me change my battery because it's flicking and then I'll be right back. Okay. So one thing too that I wanted to say and something that I'm feeling is there's this energy here of settling. Now, I don't feel as though you are going to be settling or you're going to feel like you're wanting to settle, but there is a little temptation, a little temptation to kind of lower the bar and lower the standard a little bit. Again, doing that is going to invite in more trouble. So let's say you're manifesting a tarot reading business and you, you want clients and you're so excited to be of service and to give to people, you know, these awesome, powerful messages and readings. But if you completely open your books, and I mean, I can attest to this, if you completely open your books to the whole world, or if your energy is completely open, they will come flooding in and it will drain you. It will, you know, create chaos and unexpected um, disappointments and unexpected unmet demands. You know what I mean? So it's best to price yourself and pace yourself and supply rules and regulations so that people know what to expect and then you also hold yourself to that same standard no matter how tempting it is to you know linger outside of those rules those rules are set in place for a reason queen of swords says that this is imperative for you along your journey and along your life in order for you to have your blessing or you are hurting yourself now, the same thing happens with, I don't know if you guys can see this, but the same thing happens with your relationships. The same thing happens with your health and any aspect within your life. It's so important. And I feel like people, when you set those rules and those boundaries, people are going to agree to them. People are going to accept them. It's not that you're asking for anything crazy. It's just that you're a different caliber of a person or you're a different caliber of an experience. So let's say this is applying it to your relationships, your partnerships. Yeah, the full card. It's brand new. It feels very brand new. It feels very, I just heard jurisdiction. So it's like a, a fresh jurisdiction, a, a fr fresh territory, a fresh state of being, a fresh relationship, or a new stage within your, your circumstance. And with that, you take what you know that you need, what you know that you want, 
and these boundaries and these rules and you apply them to make it yeah four of cups and the star card the star card showed up for every single pile so this is really about again it's very astrologically inspired um i've said this in the other readings too i'm not trying to you know self promote or anything like that but it is beneficial but my astro guide to 2021 drop my ebook it has every single week broken down as far as what is going on in the planets what is it you can expect my visions my prophecies also full of new moon cycles i mean and resources it goes on and on it was actually number one um new release last week so it might be still number one number now now but the star card is here and it's about really being inspired divinely inspired by the planets by what's written in your chart and calling that into action calling that into existence the empress card is knowing your but it's reversed it's knowing your worth knowing your value and not allowing just anything and anyone to come through and impede that six of pentacles and seven of swords is in order for us to work together in order for me to contribute to you and for you to give to me this is what it has to look and no shortcuts within that i don't really want to settle for less and you might have to have uncomfortable conversations when it comes to that four of cups it's the things that is that you don't want to it feels like uncomfortable to say or it feels weird to say it or you don't know if it's going to come across the right way but it needs to be said regardless so let's look at your cards okay we have sanctuary so this could be connected to what is it that you're manifesting a place of your own um a place a heart that belongs to you uh the work that you know a comfortable workspace that makes you feel good working there so you can give your best directions you want what are you manifesting the help and the guidance to not only direct things to you so that it's in a single file line but also you know how you're going to be available to others how they can be of service to you six of pentacles is very much checks and balances it's looking at what you're contributing looking at what other people are contributing and trying to figure out how it all you know works out it needs to be balanced speaking of work more work so this is obviously connected to your work how it is that you're of service to other people on the planet how people can find you the direction how they're able to come to you um but also things that you don't want to feel like work or things that shouldn't feel like work but that you're actively working on i know that, that sounds like, like a mouthful and it kind of all twists and turns but that is a very specific message for someone and that person will know exactly what i'm saying okay dry desert this is reversed this is what i'm saying for me personally when the dry desert card is reversed it's saying that you need to be very resourceful you need to there's when it's upright you definitely are resourceful like you're you realize that in order to survive in the desert you can't be out there break dancing <laughs> in at 12 to 3 p.m you know what i mean that's when most energies like most animals in the desert are reserving conserving their energy for the sake of survival so when this card is reversed it's saying you're you're not doing that you need now that i'm looking at it both of these cards sanctuary and desert or direction they have drip drops like little raindrops coming in and that's nourishment that's what is being given to you and in order for you to make it last in order for you to make it thrive in order for you to make it good not a barren desolate environment it wants to be thriving it wants to be abundant it wants to be lush so yeah you need to have kind of you know a structure set in place that is authentic to you and what you want and what you see and no settling for less some of you guys are like it's a dry desert it doesn't exist it's not out there it is out there but in order for you to do it you have to know what it is that you want you have to be smart about it you have to use your resources and you will find it it will find you direction it's literally like what you're looking for is looking for you so what do you have to do in order to make that happen strength to me something about this is reminding me of the energy of our planet our globe so there are parts of our planet that are uninhabitable and there's parts that are very lush and very thriving and people pay top dollar to to live there and to be there and it's all about for me it's taking care of those things and protecting them and preserving them that's to me what the strength card is showing right here so you want to preserve those 
those things in order to preserve your strength, in order to um, utilize your resources. Magical map shifter, this is how everything always connects. And this is somehow connecting me to the idea of the card of direction. Knowing what you want and knowing that everything will kind of connect in order to bring it into your life, in order to manifest it into your life. Look, you guys, you have the home card. Some of you guys really are manifesting, especially with sanctuary and home. You guys are feeling like, you know, you're looking for your place of belonging. You're looking for your, your space. You're looking for your sanctuary. And you feel like, you know, it doesn't exist or you're not going to happen or there's going to be, there's a conflict in the home or there's conflict in your future home. Um, but yeah, spirit is working on man helping you to manifest and materialize that patterns. This is seeing what has already happened before and realizing that, okay, in the past, this has not been beneficial to me. This is having learned that and experienced that I'm not going to repeat that because it will happen again. It will be a pattern that happens again. So you have rules set in place and certain things that you are clearly defining so that people can know what to expect and you know what to expect so there's no miscommunication and there's no harboring resentment. These are things that you know you are worthy of. You know that you're not asking for too much. It's literally set in place for your own protection for yourself and the people that are around you. Okay, hubba hubba. This to me is saying that what you're looking for is out there. In fact, I'm gonna read this to you. Yeah, you know that dreamy look of deep, soulful love you sub you sometimes seen in the eyes of another as they gaze into your own. Expect a whole lot more of that. Yes, create space for new love. This is about creating space means creating the. This is about the direction card, six of pentacles, the star card, justice card, and queen of swords. So, and also the fool card and the magician card. So all of these cards, honestly, but. It's when you're creating a new space, this sanctuary, this space that is your own or this new love or this new career or this whatever this case, whatever the case may be, you're creating a space, but you're like, this is my space for this. What are you doing when you're doing that? You're creating a boundary. This is something sacred. Do not just come in here just muddling it up. This is what we're creating here. So you can't just come in and go out, you know, because what we have is special. This is what I'm offering and these are the rules and this is what it looks like. So this is what you can expect and we're open and, and ready for business. So come in, you know, this is what it is that you're creating. When you are creating, creating the space, you are creating a boundary to protect that space of what it is that you love and what it is that you're offering. I want to read this card to you. When a thing hurts your eyes, stop looking at it. When it hurts your ears, stop listening to it. And when it hurts your heart, stop justifying it. The, the justice card. There are certain things that spirit is really saying to you. I honestly feel this way. There are certain things that is that you can't change. You can't change how another person treats you. You can't change the job market. You can't change the type of clients that come your way, but, or the type of, you know, the weather. There are a lot of things that is that you can't change, but you can change how you show up to the world. If you know that the weather is gonna look this way because that's the pattern, you bring an umbrella. It may not rain, but it might, so you bring an umbrella. Um, if, if it's, the pattern is that it's summer, so you don't expect a cold temperature. So you don't come out wearing a, a winter coat, you come out wearing a tank top and some shorts and flip flops. Now, the weather could change drastically because 2021 and our planet is doing all that she can. <laughs> she is doing all that she can. But the pattern shows that this is what it is that you can expect. So knowing that you carry certain things, you do certain things in order to protect yourself from your past experiences or the experiences of others that have taught you. So that's what I'm seeing here. Look, stand by your commitment and laughter. So some of you guys, I really, this is a very specific message, but some of you guys are really calling into question, do I stay or do I go? And you definitely have the two of wands here somewhere. Yeah, two of wands. Do I stay or do I go? And I feel like for some of you, having a boundary to protect what you have already created is going to help change the dynamic. But that person, that thing has to change 
has to choose to change, but you yourself have to change first. And you just don't justify and you don't allow certain things to come in and be like, oh, okay, this is okay. There are certain things that you have committed yourself to that do bring you joy, that do make you laugh, that do bring light and love into your life. And they are willing and open to change. That's what this create space for new love is. This means that in order to create space for new love, you don't just throw everything out and toss everything out but certain things can be adjusted. Support and power. I feel like your guides really want you to know that you are being supported. Definitely, like this is a very clear message, so it's not like I'm, I'm saying anything miraculous, but your guides really want you to know that you're being supported here and they want you to be supported by people, places, and things that are a match for you. And that's going to help you to be more powerful. You do need a sanctuary. You do need a space of your own. You do need to know that you are loved for who you are. You do need to have standards. You do need to have boundaries. You do need to kind of fix these issues. You don't need to toss it all out, but you do need to make some adjustments. So I hope this makes sense. If you guys want to add on to your reading and add on to your intuitive messages with astrological guides, my astro guide for 2021 is again available. I'll link it down below in my description box. I do want to invite you to subscribe to my YouTube channel because there's plenty more videos where this came from. And of course, I'll see you in my next one. Bye.